So in 1988, there was a thriller from the Netherlands that was so good that Hollywood called the original director and had him come here to make that movie again. That movie was The Vanishing. So if you haven't seen it, you know, spoilers. Jeff Bridges wants to know if he can be a serial killer, so he practices. And after he plans everything, his victim is Sandra Bullock. So her boyfriend, Kiefer Sutherland, starts looking for her. Look, maybe someone can help me. My girlfriend's disappeared. Has anybody seen her? Please, ma'am. And three years later, he's still looking for her. Look, he put up a new one. I heard him on talk radio. You know, every few months he replaces the posters. Every 30 days, you can set your watch by it. Because he's obsessed about finding out what happened to her. What is this like to not know? Even though he has a new girlfriend now. Look at this room! Yeah, look at this room. No pictures of Diane except for the posters. No mementos, nothing, just this. I love you, Rita. And for those three years, Jeff Bridges, the killer, has been watching the whole time. I just want to know what happened to Diane. And I'm prepared to do anything to find out. Until finally, Jeff Bridges decides to let Kiefer Sutherland know who he is and what he did. Hello, Jeff. I'm the man you're looking for. I'm Barney. But there's a catch. You must experience what she experienced. What do you mean? I mean everything that happened to her. Every event from this point on, you must duplicate exactly. After being drugged and knocked out, Jeff Bridges shows him what happened. I said I'd show you exactly what happened to Diane. And I am a man of my word. And that's how the movie ends. The killer buried the boyfriend and the girlfriend alive. And he got away with it. No! But this is America. So fuck that shit. New girlfriend knocks out Jeff Bridges and finds Kiefer Sutherland. And then Jeff Bridges gets his head bashed in with a shovel. Because, you know, America! No!